the Frontline Feud. I'm April DeFalco, the president of the Greater Manchester Chamber of Commerce. We're so excited to bring this local game show to all of you. During this presentation, you'll meet some of Manchester's local heroes. But before you do, I'd like to take a moment to thank those that made this presentation possible. First, the professional production would not be possible without the talent and generosity of Jim Russo of J. Russo Productions. It's thanks to him manning two cameras on his own and setting up a classroom to look like a game show stage. Um, so we really want to thank Jim for all his help with this event. We wanna thank our sound uh, and production assistants, two students from Manchester High School, Stephen and Skye, and they're here with their instructor, David Fairbanks. So thank you so much for their assistance with setting up the sound and um, our, our drapery, our backdrops. Also to an incredible community partner, the Ambulance Service of Manchester. The ASM team has become like family to us at the Chamber, and we thank them for all they've done to help make this show happen. To our sponsors, we thank you for supporting this new fundraiser. We appreciate you recognizing the challenge that the Chamber and all nonprofits are having right now due to COVID. Seeking out innovative new ways to raise money is not easy, especially during a pandemic. But without it, the programs and services we offer couldn't happen. We wouldn't be able to offer those to the business community or the community on a whole. So we thank you so very much to our sponsors. And finally, to the stars of the show, the players, all of Manchester's first responders and essential personnel. Thank you for what you do. Your bravery, your selflessness, and your dedication are what makes Manchester the best place to live, work, and do business. So without further ado, sit back, relax, because here to start the show is a man with a plan guy who's not shy, and your host with the most, Richard Dawkins. It is my pleasure to be hosting and in the company of these community heroes. I know you're excited to meet our players and learn a little bit more about each of them, but before we do, let's go over the rules. The game consists of five rounds, each round beginning with a face-off to see which team will get the opportunity to play that round. The team who answers the face-off question Correctly, with the highest point value, will get to play or pass to the other team. If the playing team gets all answers without revealing three strikes, they will win that round. If they do strike out before clearing the board, the other team will get a chance to answer and take that round. But if that team does not reveal an answer, the points go back to the first team. So, first responders, are you ready? Essential personnel, are you ready? Woo! Then let's play the Frontline Feud! All right. Come on down to the players. Player time. Question number one, sponsored by Ambulance Service of Manchester. 100 Manchester residents surveyed, top five answers on the board. Where might one go for the best pizza in Manchester? Survey says. Oh my God! Play play. Play, 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 play. Okay. All right, thank you. So Beth, you're the executive director, uh, CEO of Mac Charities, right? Yes. And what charity are you playing for today? They chose Mac. All right, all right. Thank you. <laughs> so now the first question she already answered, so I go to the second one, right? All right. So Christine. Yes. You introduce yourself. I'm Christine, and I am the owner of Always Best Care Senior Services. We provide non-medical home care so support to older adults. Very so good. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So what is your answer? CJ's. 
survey says. <laughs> number two. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Jessica, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, I'm Jess Duval. I work for Journey Found. We're a nonprofit that provides residential services for adults with developmental disabilities. Very good. And what is your answer? I got to say VIX. Survey says? Oh, One okay. strike. It's okay. It's okay. One strike. It's okay. It's okay. 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 Right. My name is Tamara Speaks. I am from Manchester Adult and Continuing Ed. And my answer is Hartford Road Pizza. Survey says. Oh. Two strikes. Oh. Hello, Rometta. Hello. Would you Hi. like to introduce yourself, please? I'm Kelly Rometta. I'm here representing proudly Mark Inc. of Manchester because we see people, not disabilities. Very good. And your answer to where might one go for the best pizza in Manchester? Andy's? Survey says. Yeah. Now we come back to you, Beth. Remember, you have two strikes. Yes. So your answer for where might one go for the best pizza in Manchester? Philomena's. Philomena's survey says. Yeah. All right. So you got one left and one strike. Christine, what's your answer? Manchester Grill and Pizza. Survey says Ooh, three that's strikes. Okay. That's okay. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. So Alyssa, would you like to introduce yourself before you steal? Yeah, I guess I could do that. <laughs> um, so I'm Alyssa Sexton. I'm one of the emergency medicine physicians at Manchester and Rockville. Um, and I'm also the EMS director in Manchester. Very good. Thank you for being here. And your answer to steal, where might one go for the best pizza in Manchester? What did you say? Woodbridge. Woodbridge. Survey says. <laughs> and the first responder steal the first question. Now we're going to go see a message from one of our sponsors. <laughs> All right, now we're back from our first sponsor's message. And we're ready for round two. So if I could have the second player from each team, please come up. All right. Now, the, the producer told me this is the hardest question. So, you know, good luck for the draw. That sucks for us. Okay. 100 Manchester residents were surveyed. Top five answers on the board. Name something you might find at the Manchester Road Race. See? Runners. Survey says. Good answer, good answer, good answer. So now, Jess. Gotta go with costumes. Yeah. Survey says. <laughs> very good, very good. All right, so you have two out of the five and no strikes so far, Tamara. All right, well, I've never ran the Manchester Road Race, but I am on the committee. So <laughs> I say that the number two answer is gonna be um, uh, media, the media. Survey says. First. Oh, that's, that's okay. That's okay. No pressure, Rometta. <laughs> I'm gonna say spectators, fans. Survey says. <laughs> Beth, now we come back to you. You have one strike and two answers remaining. So name something you might find at the Manchester Road Race. Walkers. Survey says. Sorry. Right. No pressure. No pressure. Answer. There's two yeah. answers left, and you have one strike. There's only two answers. <laughs> so I first want to say I love Manchester, Very but good. drunk people. Yeah. <laughs> hey, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Survey <laughs> says. <laughs> Chester. So now, <laughs> first responders, if you want to get together and discuss an answer, you can steal. All right, John, you want to? We're going to go with safety man. Survey says. All right, well done, John. Good job, first responders. Now let's 
see what the number four answer on the board was. Uh, Bands yeah. or music. All right. That completes our second round. Now we're going to go to another message from one of our sponsors. We'll see you in a minute. Welcome back to the Frontline Feud, and thank you to our <laughs> Now we are ready for question number three. If I could have a third contestant, come on. Yeah. All right. So one hand on the table. There we go. 100 Manchester residents were surveyed. Top three answers on the board, please. Name a place in Manchester that is family or kid-friendly. Case Mountain. Survey says. <laughs> All right. Are you going to pass or are you going to play? You're going to play. All right. All right. So, Penny, if you'd like to introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Penny. Uh, I'm a nurse at Bennett Academy, a fifth and sixth grade student, and I work at ECHN as well. And I don't think we've gotten to this. Who are the first responders playing for today? We're playing for the Blue Angels. Okay. All right. So, Penny, name a place in Manchester that is family or kid friendly. Charter Park. Survey says. <laughs> All right. Very good. Next group, would like to introduce yourself. Yep. My name is Drew Hedberg. I pl I'm playing for Ambulance Service in Manchester this evening. All right. Drew, can you name a place in Manchester that is family or kid friendly? Uh, why don't we say Center Springs Park? Survey says. <laughs> All right. Jacques from Essex, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm John uh, Loud. I work for the Manchester Police Department where I've been an officer there for four years and I recently got uh, placed in the community policing unit. All right. Very good. Can you name a place in Manchester that is family or kid friendly? Let's go with the, uh, the Lutz Museum. Survey says... And the first responders take that round. Now we're going to go to another message from one of our sponsors. We'll see you back here in a minute. Welcome back. Camera, Penny, we're ready for round four of the Frontline View. All right, 100 Manchester residents were surveyed. Top four answers are on the board. What do you associate with downtown Manchester? Oh, the Manchester Road Race. Survey says. All right, are you going to play or pass? All right. Hello, Rometta. Hi. <laughs> what do you associate with downtown Manchester? Workspace. Survey says. Oh, good answer, though. Good answer, Kelly. Good All answer. Right. Good answer. Beth, what do you associate with downtown Manchester? The car show. Survey says. <laughs> no pressure, Christine. No That's pressure. Okay, Christine. Two strikes. What do you associate with downtown Manchester? Going old school with Marlowe's. Ooh. Survey good says. Answer, good answer. Good answer. Oh, and it God. throws over we to the first responders. We're going to need an answer, first responders. What do you associate with downtown Manchester for the steel? Uh, Mary Cheney Library. Survey says. Yay! And the first responder steal another round. Let's see what number four is. Strolling on Main. And the number two answer, please. Restaurants. That concludes. Our fourth round, now for another message from one of our sponsors. We'll see you back in a minute. Welcome back. Now, 
we are ready for our fifth round. So Drew and Hundred Manchester residents were surveyed. Top three answers on the board. Name a historic landmark in Manchester. Cheney eh. Mansions. Survey says. I was gonna say Gene Mansions too. Um, how about the uh, firefighters uh, museum that's down there by the Gene Mansions? Survey says. Hi. All right, now we're gonna go and ask Beth. Beth, what is your answer for a historic landmark in Manchester? I would say the Dancing Bears in uh, Center Park. Survey says. Oh, now we go over to John. Can I go with the ruins of the glassworks? The survey says. Woo! All right, you get a player pass. Woo! Woo! Okay, all right, you get a play. Okay, okay, all right. So now, come back to Alyssa. Hey, how you doing? Great. Can you name a historic landmark in Manchester? Historic landmark with the nine eleven memorial. Survey says. All right, one strike, Matthew. Cheney Hall. Cheney Hall, survey says. All right. No pressure, Penny. One strike, one answer left. Name a historic landmark in Manchester. Cheney Mansion. Survey says. All right, Drew, we're back to you. You have one answer and one strike left. How about the Weiss building in the middle of town? Survey says. All right, essential personnel. You have, you have five seconds, 10 seconds. Let's not make it too long. The cheating silk mills. Survey says. For another message from one of our sponsors. We'll see you back in a minute. Welcome to Manchester. As a Chamber of Commerce, we know that location is important to your business. Manchester has it all. Historic downtown, the bustling Buckland area, and acres of industrial space for advanced manufacturing, all minutes from Connecticut's major highways. Plus great restaurants, shops, and parks. Manchester is a great place to live, work, and do business. Remember to buy local. Manchester makes it easy. Welcome back to the first All right, so we have a special way to wrap this segment. If John and Beth would come over, we have a 300 point final question. <laughs> what year was the Businessmen's Association, better known as the Greater Manchester Chamber of Commerce, formed? Within five years, Price is Right rules, no going over. John? 1920? Incorrect. 1915. April. And the answer is 1901. Oh. But Price is Right rules, you went over. So that means that our first responders are the winners. Thank you again to our sponsors. 